Thank you for joining me on my masterclass. Now, today we're talking about a safe alternative to the US dollar. And the reason why we're doing this is because there's been um, a crash in the Nigerian Naira and a lot of my subscribers are in Nigeria, something like 28% and they've reached out to me and um, I've offered some solutions. Um, I actually uh, forecasted the crash before it happened. I forecasted the crash and I told you, I mean, it's on this video, I forecasted the crash 24 hours before it happened and I urged my subscribers to protect themselves by getting United States dollars. And a number did, some of them really got huge amounts. We got feedback and um, you know, some of them really got huge, huge amounts of dollars. They protected themselves. Now others said, well, they couldn't get dollars because of um, the uh, foreign exchange regime uh, under the Buhari administration in Nigeria and that uh, they were trying to get um, uh, you know, USDT. And you know, yesterday I had to explain, you know, like USDT is not what you think it is because like they've made um, seriously misleading claims you know um, the um, it's been run by tether limited which is owned by bitfinex and uh, they've been fined by the united states by the commodities and future trading commission of the united states that's the body that regulates um, um, cryptocurrency they've been fined you know uh, for making misleading claims because they've led people to believe that uh, the usdd is backed one on one you know with us dollar so at any point in time one U one USDT is always equivalent to one US dollar. Now, the only way you can uh, guarantee that is if you have cash reserves. If, if if you have cash reserves or equivalent of cash reserves, and they don't, you know, they don't. I mean, when they were audited, it was found out that they only have two point nine percent, you know, cash reserves. So that means that at the very, I mean, if everybody holding a USDT makes a claim, the highest that they can do, you know, to back it up is to give each of you. 2 cent, uh, 2.9 cents, you know, so the, not only did they pay a fine to, I think the fine that they paid to the um, Commodities and Futures Trading Commission was for the $1 million, they also paid a fine to the New York State Department for um, uh, Financial Services, you know, so they, they, paid a, they paid a fine, I think it was about maybe $12 million or something like that, you know, and, you know, uh, the, the main company itself, Bitfinex, you know, they're shrouded in um, a lot of, um, would I say issues, you know, like um, missing customer monies, you know, to the tune of, you know, it's really large. And so, like I said, you know, like um, to protect yourself, you know, you really want to look at the white paper that is behind uh, a digital currency, you know, a cryptocurrency. You know, you want to look at a white paper. If and if a, 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 a cryptocurrency does not have a white paper, uh, then, you know, that's already a red flag. It's suspect, you know. So I warned people about um, uh, USDT. I said, okay, you might look safe now. You might be doing transactions, but, you know, this is troubling. This is really, really troubling, you know. And so people wrote back to me and uh, they sent, they put comments under that video and they went to my verified social media platform asking Okay, uh, Pastor Reno, if USDT has these deficiencies, what is a safe alternative for those of us who can't readily, readily get US dollars in Nigeria? Because you know that like, people are mopping up US dollars. You know, there's a very, very great demand for US dollars. And here's the thing, you know, the best alternative, the best alternative is the Binance USD, Binance USD, um, otherwise called BUSD, otherwise called BUSD. Now, a, a number of you are, are already trading in Binance USD because they have a, um, a subscriber base of over a million. I think it's uh, about 1.5 million thereabouts, you know, but here's the thing, you know, the, the, the reason why uh, Binance USD is a safe alternative for buying um, the US dollars is because it is backed one on one so for every BUSD you know it's backed in actual cash reserves or equivalent of cash reserves you know by US dollars so they have in banks and they have in banks actual cash so for every BUSD you're buying they have in the bank an actual cash reserve so it represents one on one now where they don't have cash reserves they have equivalent of cash reserves which are actually better and i'm talking about treasury bills so they are they are either backed by uh, us dollars in cash in in banks and not just any bank these are banks that are insured by the uh, fdic the federal deposit insurance commission or corporation of um, commission of america and so they have cash there and then also they all they also hold treasury bills treasury bills are issued by the united states government so they are actually even safer than cash so you have that 
guarantee you have that confidence that yes you know when these people say that they are a digitized us dollar because essentially what a stable coin is and usdt B, BUSD and other stable coins, you know, they are really, in fact, not cryptocurrency, although they work with the cryptocurrency uh, technology, meaning blockchain. So, for instance, USDT runs on the um, uh, Ethereum network, although it's not owned by Ethereum. They just they are just like piggybacking on their piggybacking on their uh, network. Now, the BUSD runs on the Paxos network but here's the thing you know though they i mean they like like they 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 want like cryptocurrency they are not actually cryptocurrency they are actually digitized us dollars but they are not provided by the united states government they are provided by private corporations so the extent of their value depends on the transparency of the private corporations and you've, you've seen with the uh, those behind usdt there is a challenge there's a really really big challenge i mean several red flags you know i won't put one dime there but with busd not only you know they are actually audited and in fact they were they were green listed by the new york state department for financial uh, services they were green listed so they were given a nod you know and the, the thing is this you know in america the most influential of such state departments for financial services is uh, is the New York State Department because you know that's where you have Wall Street, that's where you have the world, the capital of the world. Um, uh, 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 well, let's say the capital of the world economy. So that's where you have the New York Stock Exchange. That's where you have um, you got Nasdaq. That's where you even you got them there. So if the New York State Department for uh, Financial uh, uh, Services is giving you a green light, is is green listing you, is giving you the note, then you know that's a very very good sign. And besides that. Besides that, you know, they are audited every month. You know, B, B, BUSD is audited every month. It's audited every month. And so you, even you as a private ind individual, you can get access to their monthly audited report. So that makes it the most stable of all the stable coins. Because of that, you know, you're, it's audited so you can see that, okay, they are taking your money. And you know, that, that the, I mean, another good sign is this, they don't charge fees for buying and uh, uh, selling BUSD. Now, your bank, might charge you because you know banks don't like cryptocurrency or digitized currencies they don't like them because they are competitors but busd themselves binance themselves they're not charging you you know so it's free so these are very very good signs that make you uh, that make you very very comfortable and then besides if you look at it right now as i speak something like uh, 36 percent of all small and medium scale businesses in the united states are uh let, let me see if i got that right i want to check that to make sure i've, I've got that right let me see. Okay, excellent. Yes, so something like 36% of all small and medium scale businesses in the United States accept cryptocurrency. 36%. Now, of all of, of all of that, you know, accepting um, that cryptocurrency, 58% of that 36% accept Bitcoin. They accept Bitcoin. Now, 25% of that 36%, they accept BUSD. So you can see that for utility uh, sake, you know, like for people accepting it, you know, utility sake, you know, it's a very, very stable currency. So here's the thing. Your first bet, the best bet is buy USD with your Naira. If you can, you know, I, I mean, you saw my previous video. I sent my staff to Bureau de Challenges in uh, Abuja. They went to several in the Zone 4 area of Abuja. They still have their licenses. Their licenses have not been revoked and they are in operation you know um but you know there obviously there is a price differential between what you'll get at the broad exchange and what you get at the bank you know because at the bank you you only going to be able to buy a certain amount and you, it's only being sold to those who have um who have applied for basic travel allowance and uh to do that obviously you have to get a ticket and you have to have i mean spend about between eight hundred dollars and two thousand dollars to buy a ticket you know do you want to go through all of that? It might be better to go through a broad exchange. The central bank isn't I mean, going to sell to you directly. So these are the alternatives that you have. Buy US dollars. But if you can't buy US dollars, buy BUSD. Avoid USDT. Now, 
the narrow has crashed even further from uh, last 48 hours when I did that video. It's crashed even further. It doesn't matter. Still buy because it's still going to crash. Why? Because um, right now Nigeria's debt to debt service to income ratio is 98 percent. Next year, it has been forecasted by Fitch, which is the number one rating agency in the world, to grow to 395 percent. What that means is that our currency will have to be diluted. That's a nice word for saying it's going to be devalued. Devalued. My name is Ronald Mercury. If you've watched this and you have questions arising from this, put them in the comment section. Or you go to my verified social media profiles. It has the blue tick, the blue check mark, so you know it's mine. A lot of my uh, fans, my followers, have formed uh, as communities and they created Facebook pages. You know, so they're not scammers. You know, there are people that have read my books. Uh, there are people that follow me, follow my runners nuggets. You know, so those are not mine. You see the verified, uh, the blue tick, the blue check mark, and then you put your questions there. My staff will read your questions. They'll curate it. They'll bring it to me. I'll respond to them um, in the, either in the comment section or in a video and remember I don't have a whatsapp for her. I don't have a telegram account or channel I don't have a gmail email address scammers have seen that my videos always go viral and so they create the uh, fake profiles on YouTube with my photos and then they scam people you got to be careful thank you for watching and God bless you